and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be revisiting an old project which is using coffee to stain a bowl. So I've got an oak bowl on here and I've done these bowls many times before. It's just a bit of oak countertop and I've turned the outside nice and simple and it's nice and smooth. I've sanded it to 120 grit on the outside. And now there's a couple of little dents and chips out of this blank because it is a piece of oak countertop. They're never perfect but it's good enough for this. So what we're gonna do is I've got a couple of packs of instant coffee that I had. So I'm gonna mix those up really, really strong and we're gonna paint the outside. We'll then let it sit for about 10 minutes. It happens to be about 30 degrees in the workshop, 32 degrees, something like that. It's about 30 degrees outside, so it's very warm and I don't think we'll have trouble waiting for the coffee to dry. So it's quite an interesting project, this. I really enjoy doing things like this, experimenting with color and textures and things like that. So what we'll do is we'll apply a layer of coffee to the outside, let it dry, wait, hollow the inside, apply a layer of coffee, wait, keep doing, repeating that process over and over until we have a finish that looks good. I love using coffee for projects, it smells amazing and it looks really cool. So let's get going. I figured there wasn't much point showing you how to turn the outside of a bowl, I've done it many times before, and you can see it on my channel if you want to. Now this is what I meant, there's a little bit here, a uh, chip out of there, there's a small chip here, one there, and it's where some of these glue ups are with these sort of um, pieces here, you can see where they've intertwined them there, you can see the lines. Um, it's fine, doesn't really matter for this purpose, the coffee will hide it anyway. Um, and then we'll eventually part this off the lathe, but for now what we're going to do is we'll put some coffee on the outside. So I've got some packets of instant coffee, I have no idea where I got these from, but we're going to use them up. So we're just going to tear open one, and we're going to pour the coffee into some boiling water that I've just boiled. We want to make sure we get all of the coffee into there. And ideally something to stir it with, so I'll just find something. I'll use the end to a blunt drill bit. I'm going to mix up a nice strong concentration here, so we want two packets of coffee. Smells nice. And obviously in this heat this should stay quite nice and hot as well, which is a bonus. So you want this as strong as you can get it. If you've got more packets, by all means put them in. Given my lathe's brand new, and it's, this is its first day of use, and I've, I've turned a wand on it this morning, um, and we're now on to doing a coffee video, I don't really want to ruin it on its first day. So I've got this whiteboard down here, and we're going to get a paintbrush, and we're going to paint it on. So despite the fact it's about 30 degrees in there, I'm still wearing my Turner's overalls because I don't really want to get coffee all over me. So I've mixed this up, it's very, very hot. We're going to paint it on and see how it goes. So let's get on with this part. Right, I'll start with doing a little bit without a time lapse. I have no idea how vibrant this will be when it dries, but for now, we're just going to paint it on. It's almost like a wood stain, it's the best way to describe this. Now, obviously, I need to be quite careful here because I have got hot glue here, and this is obviously boiling hot coffee. And I don't really want to melt this blank off the lathe, so we'll just paint around nice and carefully. And as you can see, it's going on quite nicely at the moment. Try and build up as strong a concentration on the first layer as possible, so that it's got something to seep into for the next few layers. This is a really, really nice piece of oak that I've got here. As I put this stain on, you can sort of see all of the colours and textures on here. I kept adding coffee stain just to build up a really nice depth to the piece as I wanted it to appear quite dark and show the wood grain but also show the depth of the coffee and I really think I achieved that quite nicely by applying about 6 or 7 coats of the coffee and it was really important to do this before hollowing out the interior to ensure that it didn't warp or bend. What I did was I applied the coffee stain on the lathe using a paintbrush and then I took it off and placed it in the sun. As I said previously it was about 30 degrees today so it wasn't particularly difficult to get the sun to catch it. I then used my round scraper to clean up the face of the blank and then started removing the material from the inside. Now as you can see I was getting some really really nice shavings off the tool and now that I have a bowl gouge it will be even easier to hollow out bowls but I was still pretty happy with the finish I received off the round scraper here. 
So I took out all of the outside first and then moved on to the inside part, which is just that centre part. And it's really important you do that last so the bowl remains stable and doesn't move about or shatter when it's on the lathe. I then started applying one more coat to the outside after having sanded it with 1500 grit. I then applied cellulose sanding sealer and wood turners blend to seal that all in. Well, I couldn't decide whether to leave the outside natural, um, sorry, coffee and the inside natural or to do coffee on the outside, coffee on the inside. I personally like both, I think that looks pretty cool. But on Instagram I did a poll and everyone, 100% of people thus far, I mean I've only had the poll up about 30 minutes so only some people have responded to it so far, but everyone seems to think I should do coffee on the inside, so we're gonna do it. What I think I will do is do a slightly um, smaller coat on the inside than I did on the outside, as I think that will add some nice contrast and still show the fact that it is wood. I think it's quite cool though being able to use something like um, coffee and stain wood with it. I think it looks really cool personally. I mean it's not a new technique but it looks cool nonetheless and I wanted to try it. So what I'm doing is just getting a nice even coverage. Yeah I think that's going to look really cool. So I'll just touch up around the rim as well. And I'm keeping it on the faceplate section because I will need to just buff it quickly, apply a wax and sealer and also 1500 grit. So I'll now let that dry for about 20 minutes and I'll add a second coat. I then repeated what I had previously done on the outside and just applied lots of coats to the inside. I think I ended up doing about 4 or 5 coats as it didn't need quite as many coats on the inside. Again I then applied some cellulose sanding sealer and some wood turners blend and buffed it all off. This gave the piece a really nice depth and still showed the wood grain as well as showing the coffee. I then took it off the lathe, parting away the hot glue, cleaning it up with a sharp chisel, and then I sanded the bottom and applied some cellulose sanding sealer. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I had an absolute blast making this project. This was a little bit different to my usual kind of style of videos, but I really enjoyed it and I think it's turned out pretty cool. I really love the fact you can still see the wood on the underneath, so you can see the original color. And then we've got this lovely, lovely coffee color on the outside and the inside, and I definitely agree with everyone on Instagram who said to paint it with the coffee stain on the inside and the outside. Definitely agree it looks better than it would have if I had only done the inside um, plain. But yeah, really, really happy with the coffee smell. It smells amazing, and it also looks amazing as well, in my opinion. Think I'm going to experiment a bit more with staining wood and maybe trying things that are a little bit different to my usual style of simple bowls and things. As I said, I always want to push my comfort zone on this channel. The Tazza is an example of that, the pedestal clock. All of the projects I make, I try and include something new or something to challenge me or something I can learn so that it's not always the same every time. But thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I think it's turned out pretty cool and I'm excited to see what my next project is. Thanks for watching.